Well, hello everybody. On April 8th, we're going to be experiencing a total solar eclipse here in the United States. And I just happen to be in the path of totality right here where I live in western New York. Now for me, the eclipse will begin on Monday at 2.04 p.m. And it'll reach maximum at 3.19 p.m. And it'll end at 4.31 p.m. For a total duration of 2 hours and 28 minutes. Uh, the totality will last 3 minutes and 24 seconds. This will be a once in a lifetime event. Now back in 2017 we had a partial eclipse here where I live and I took these pictures of that eclipse. So now we need to make a solar filter to capture this total eclipse this time. So today I'll be making a solar filter for my 80 millimeter refractor telescope. Now this is an old filter here that I've had for quite a while and I'm not going to trust it anymore because it's, it's damaged, it's got some scratches on it. Now before we get started making our solar filter, I thought it might be a good idea to talk about solar film and what it is and how important it is to buy good quality solar film to protect your eyes and your equipment when you're viewing the sun. So this is what I've learned about solar film. It's usually made of glass or polymer film and it blocks most of the light to prevent damage to your eyes. Mylar is a brand name for a polyester film that has many uses including solar photography filters and solar glasses. This film is perfect for solar photography and for solar viewing. You may look at the sun through a mylar filter as long as it's mounted on the front of your telescope or camera lens. Now you never want to look through an unfiltered camera lens while wearing those mylar solar glasses. You need to make a filter for the end of the telescope or camera. Now when you're shopping for your solar filter it's important to buy from a company that has experience making this solar film. The film must be ISO certified to ensure it meets the requirements for viewing the sun safely. And right here is a uh, list of several companies that offer safe solar filters. I ordered my solar film from Farpoint Astro. This is the material I will be using today to make my filter. Bader Astro Solar Visual Safety Film comes highly recommended for true color white imaging. I'll be using the Bader Solar Film to make a filter for my camera. So let's get started. This is the little Explorer Scientific 80 millimeter telescope and we'll take the dew shield off and remove the lens cover. And I needed some thin cardboard that I could use to make the ring that's going to go around the end of the telescope. And so I thought that cereal box material would uh, wrap around the end of the telescope uh, easily. So I'm measuring here and I think I'll make the strips about an inch and a half wide. Now I'll need to make four of these strips and I'll uh, glue them together to make a nice solid ring that will slide over the end of the telescope. Now this time I'm going to be making the filter out of the, the uh, solar film it's called. And so I plan to sandwich that solar film in between two pieces of cardboard, heavier cardboard. But this part here is the part that will slide over the end of the telescope. And that's why I'm using this thinner cardboard so it'll wrap around easier. So I'll wrap the strip around the end of the telescope and make it fairly tight, but not too tight because you want to be able to slide this filter on and off. But you want it tight enough so that uh, there won't be any sunlight that will uh, sneak in there anywhere. So I've, uh, I've applied glue to the second strip and I'm going to wrap it around here and I'll get another piece of that packing tape and hold this one together. So the reason that I'm uh, putting four strips together is so this will make a, a nice uh, solid ring here. And it will also be wide enough so that I can 
glue it to the the flat end piece here I'm just wrapping tape on the inside I just want to hold that securely while the glue dries there we go so there's uh, two now we'll put it back on the telescope and I apply glue to the third strip and we'll just do this four times so we have a nice thick ring here okay so now we'll put on this fourth strip and we'll uh, tape it up and let it set and dry a while now this is what the filter is going to look like when it's finished and so next we're going to make this flat end piece that will hold the uh, filter material now this is how that material was shipped to me in between two pieces of cardboard and I haven't opened it up yet but it's about a six inch square piece so what I've done is measured my telescope and now I'm going to take a compass and I will uh, draw a circle on there and I decided rather than having just a square piece of cardboard on the end of the telescope that I would trim it off a little bit and make this shape I thought it'd be easier to put on and off the uh, telescope that way so we'll cut out the, the center piece and you'll see that uh, when I'm done we'll be able to make two of these just exactly alike and we'll sandwich that solar filter in between the two pieces so there we go we got the first first piece done and now we need to made one make one just like it so I'll just lay it on a piece of cardboard and uh, trace around it and, and cut out the second one now I'll see how this project goes and I plan to make another filter for my camera my DSLR and so this is uh this is really the the practice one here so now I'll apply this glue to the ring and uh, and also to the flat piece and you let that dry for 10-15 minutes and then when you touch the two together they 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 glue on contact that's why they call it contact cement so you can see where I marked I laid that ring down on that flat piece there and I I drew a mark around the outside there so I'll just put that contact cement right where that other ring is going to sit all right now we'll mark out our filter material to the shape of this uh, flat piece that's going on the end of the telescope and I've never worked with this material before it's uh, pretty fragile uh, you want to be careful you don't want to poke a hole in it uh, or scratch it up and uh, I've got the rubber gloves on because they say uh, you should not get the fingerprints on there now I have to mark because I'm going to make this slightly smaller than that cardboard and the reason for that is I want to apply contact cement right on the edges of the cardboard so that I can uh, glue glue this up and seal it up all the way around the edge of the two pieces of cardboard you'll see what I mean so I've, I'm just sort of uh, deciding how much I want to uh, trim off there and then after I got that marked on there I I decided I want a little bit more so I I, I went in a little bit more I think it's about uh, half inch or five-eighths of an inch smaller than the uh, cardboard pieces so now I'm cutting the pieces of two-sided tape and that's what's going to hold the solar material onto that cardboard 
And so we go all the way around. Now I've marked the shape on both the cardboard and the solar material. And I'll get it all lined up because when you stick it down there, that's it. And they say it doesn't matter if there's if there's wrinkles in that material. In fact, they warn against trying to stretch it. Okay, so now it's time to uh, put the ring on on the other piece of flat cardboard. And there you go. That's glued on there. And now we'll put the two together, just like that. So the next thing we'll do is uh, apply that two-sided tape all the way around that, that second flat piece, which I've done. And now I'm taking the contact cement around the edge of this one. So when I line these things up and put them together, that tape will hold, hold everything together. And then I'll go around the outside and pinch that cardboard together and that'll seal it right up. At least that's the idea. So now I'm applying glue to the other surface. That's what you do with this contact cement. You apply, apply glue to both surfaces that you're going to put together. And you let it dry for 10 or 15 minutes and then when you touch those two surfaces they glue on contact. So here we go. We've let it dry. And I'm going to get it all lined up. And I put it down there on the two-sided tape. And there we go. That's it. Incidentally, the, uh, the shiny side of the filter material goes towards the telescope. The dull side is what faces the sun. And so there it is. Our solar filter is finished. So I'll take it off of there and put it on a couple times and, and see how that works. And it's, uh, it's, it's snug enough so it's not going to blow off of there or fall off. But it goes on pretty easy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. And like I said, I look forward to uh, taking some pictures of this total eclipse. I decided to put a dust cover on this thing. So I'm just taping it on there temporarily. And uh, that way that will protect that, that solar film. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.